This day is the toughest of the whole tour. It took us about nine hours of hard walking across steep slopes and a lot of boulder fields. Disappearing into the mist, starting day two. It's a steep grind up to the first col, and I think we shared a bit of apprehension about what lay ahead. After the first col, the way traverses a very steep slope of grass and shaly rock. One slip would have taken us a long way down. Wet, slippery snow obliterated much of the route, and I call it a route because there wasn't a path. There's Ben about to come across. See where all the snow's avalanched off the grass here and ended up on the path. Oops. You might not look it here, Formed but the way was very precarious at times, and we were glad of our ice axes. Hello, Ben. Hi. Just come from Traverse, across that hillside. After this, there are many boulder fields, which get a bit tedious after a while. There are numerous sections of fixed rope which enliven the day, although I found it a bit of a struggle with a very heavy pack. If you wonder what Maurice is doing, she's a walking solar charger. <laughs> ropes here in the stemple. Rope and a little debris on. There's the rope and some lovely alpine flowers. Silatal are dramatic rocky mountains and our traverse afforded great views of these. At the end of the day, you descend to grassy pastures, which feels great after being in the stony wilderness for so long. <laughs> 